All right, answer me this. What is it about me that made you approach me, really? <laughs> what do you mean? With Honey Pop 2 coming out, like, um... <laughs> tomorrow, at this point, now's a great time to cover the first one. And not just because I'll get to farm that sweet, sweet search engine traffic. And this isn't gonna be like one of those 10,000 hour one word reviews on Steam. I'm actually gonna get into it. I'll just out myself right now. I like this game. I feel almost embarrassed for saying that since I remember Honey Pop being kind of infamous for sarcastically wearing the label of dating simulator and for being kind of a non-game. The kind of game you get for your friend is a gift. I mean, that's why I have the game. Thanks, Robin. You play as a fucking loser because of course you do. In fact, you were deemed to be such a fucking loser that you've been assigned a fairy godmother specifically to teach you how to pick up chicks. There's eight girls and four secret ones. So that's gonna be um, eight times five, th uh, 30, a, l a lot of dates. Luckily, all the nuance of dating has been abstracted into a match three game. Yeah, I can handle that. This is the meat of Honey Pop. It's, it's why I like it, I promise. What's gonna make or break it for you is the presentation, the art style and the sound, and by that I mean the voice acting. Uh oh, it's gonna make a joke about how you can turn the voice acting off, but for some reason my first recording doesn't have sound and <laughs> I haven't played it through that long ass tutorial, man, it took like a fucking hour. <laughs> if you don't like this kind of art style, I understand, but it could be a lot worse. Personally, I like it. There's a lot of good detail in the outfits and the backgrounds, and all the UI and icons look fucking great. As mentioned, you can turn the voice acting off, but I don't. I like it. I think all the characters are cast pretty well, and that the actors are, I mean, I guess actresses? That's a fucking mouthful, we're in actresses. Whatever, they did a good job. It's just kind of weird, because it gives me like dubbed anime vibes, which usually sets off some kind of primal irritation inside of me. What kind of games do you play? Thank God. I was afraid you were another one of these FPS bros. Uh, If you're not annoyed by the voice acting, the rest of the soundscape is really well done. Pretty much every music track has an immediately identifiable hook, so I can still remember a lot of these even though it's been years since the last time I played. I like the music a lot. Some of the tracks are really damn pretty. Except the carnival. I feel like it's watching me. Judging me. Mocking me. But shit, man, when you make a big match and the sounds are going all pop, 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 that's pure fucking dopamine. Each date rewards you with money, which is kind of backwards, but whatever. You can spend the money on items to make dates easier or on gift items. Give someone a gift they really like and you'll get a random date gift, which can be equipped to use during dates. You earn honey to level up your character by either giving gifts or by actually talking to girls is it is it really is it really that easy you just you just talk to girls and be yourself <laughs> i'm fucking around being yourself is for chumps you only get honey from the answers that they want to hear they'll also tell you fun facts about themselves and then fucking quiz you on them later i guess to make sure you're paying attention what's your birthday i, I don't fucking know man leave me alone this intra-date money honey economy adds just the right amount of depth to make it really enjoyable. The girls have token preferences, the date gifts make interesting combinations, and you're always upgrading to keep up with the relentless march of time. Every successful date ups the difficulty, so you will absolutely fail at some point. I mean, I got the achievement for never failing, but that took planning and save scumming to accomplish. Even if there wasn't enough mechanical depth to keep it fun after nearly 50 hours, the fundamental match 3 gameplay is still rock fucking solid. The way it controls and the feedback you get from making matches makes it really goddamn satisfying. I feel like the difficulty is also in a great spot. It can feel like kind of a scam sometimes, but it makes it that much more satisfying to eke out a victory. After each successful date, the girl will send you a text to let you know how much fun they had, complete with a nice, wholesome self- Oh God! Uh, do you, uh, do you want me to get your towel? You, you, you spill something there, uh... In truth, this is a hentai game. Call me an idiot, but this actually blindsided me the first time I played. I really thought it was just a fun match 3 game that was playfully wearing the fanservicey genre elements of dating sims on its sleeve. These pictures get progressively saucier until they're just straight up too much to show on YouTube. Now's a good time to mention I'm playing the uncensored version, straight from Steam. Normally you just download the uncensored patch they posted on the forums, but I figured it'd save me some editing work later. 
It didn't. Luckily, the digital art collection comes with these, so I can just slap some more clothes on someone if I need to. But shit, secret's out, and there's only one thing left to do. The final date with each girl is at night. Win that, and they'll come back to your place. Hey, so... You wanna... maybe move this party back to your place? What you wanna do? Yeah, it's more match three. That's what you wanted, right? You weren't expecting anything else, right? If you win that, you get another picture and their underwear, which you need to win the game. Because, yeah, of course. If you'll forgive me for getting analytical about the one element that doesn't need analysis, let's ask what a hentai game is. You know, why does it need to be a game? Is a hentai game an interactive abstraction of sexual content, or is it a Skinner box that rewards you with smut for pressing the button? Honey Pop is a great exemplar of the Skinner box concept. You play dates, get pictures, and then play more dates. The gameplay is otherwise detached from the photos, so you can play as long as you like, then peruse them at your own discretion. You don't have to worry about trying to play a puzzle game when something else is getting blood flow instead of your brain. Yeah, boner joke, real fucking classy, but yeah, that was Honey Pop. I really enjoyed it, and I'm actually excited for the sequel. I <laughs> Was it really worth outing myself as a Honey Pop enjoyer to do a video on this game? Fuck, man, I don't know. I <laughs> I'm about to give my channel to a professor for film class. And <laughs> they're going to see his fucking video <laughs> on the goddamn front page. And and I, I'm working on a really big video where it's, it's a really obscure game and I tracked down the director and I have an interview with him and he's gonna fucking see my channel. He's gonna see this video. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if that was worth it at all. But uh, also, special thanks to my one patron, Ghastly Gaming. Your three bucks isn't nearly as valuable to me as the self-confidence I get from your patronage. Yeah, I mean, that's the end of this fucking video.